Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. A horror game where really no one lives under the lighthouse. Please tone check there. Okay, so this is probably like the third lighthouse game I've played. Although, this one looked pretty well developed. So first thing, is we're gonna want to check under the lighthouse. Cause we're gonna call her bluff. Yeah look, there's someone under here right now. This game is a lie. Or is it? But anyway. I'm assuming this game... Uh, now it's coming towards me and... What? Oh, I see. Weird. But you know, no one lives under the lighthouse, so it's okay. Someone else is here with us. We are locked in. We will have a good time. But the game description says multiple endings, and there's some kind of astrological component. Because the achievements have to do with tarot cards. So I'm curious where that comes in. There. That gets the gears working. Now the lighthouse is in effect spinning. Put some oil in. And we have ourselves a lighthouse. That no one lives under. Despite an unusually large area where a cavern or a secret place could be. Hmm. Previous keeper disappeared. I suppose I ran away on the boat. Left the duty of his, the bastard. Now he is no one on the island. But you look like you know the job, do you? You shouldn't light its lamp on the evening. And should keep it working until sunrise. You should also should keep it clean all round, especially the lens itself. The establishment will find you in the existence soon, and we'll get back here in a week. Good luck. Don't lose your mind from the loneliest. So I have a feeling... Goodbye. That the creators here might have... I wonder if this is going to be kind of a... Nod to the movie. The lighthouse. There's a canoe there. 
Anyway, let's get up this beach. Get to work. There's a lighthouse over there. But let's check out what looks to be... A fishing village or a chapel. No, it's just rocks. I am... Huh. I thought I saw a house on here. Maybe it was the other direction. Yeah, I think I see it over there instead. Keep it together. You've been training for this. Don't run out of shape yet. What's this place? A ladder. Shovel, hammer, nails. Let's remember this, because we will probably be back there. Here's the uh, building I was thinking of. There's food on the table, implying someone's been here. Hmm. Left some good meat behind, and stew. If it is unfixed, there's us, we look good. Huh. Weird. Okay, it's getting a little bit dark. Here's our outhouse, no privacy, but then again, I mean, kind of alone on this island. You know, because no one lives under the lighthouse. go up. I don't have the thing to fill the oil. Uh, maybe- oh! What was that? Just ignore it. I call it problems. Everything sucks if you just ignore it. Problem can exist if you never see it. Oh, there it is. Huh, right where we left it. Okay, we're going down. So we need to get some oil, but first things first, I kind of want to see... Did something drop?
No. So actually, let's try putting these, putting one in. I'm assuming I have to find three more of these. Maybe that's an ending. Okay. Refill the oil, I'm assuming. There we go. First day, job is done. Okay. Let's use my stuff. Oh no. Um, I think these are specifically in a different spot than yesterday too. So is that us or is someone visiting us at night? Who knows? There's another one out here. Huh. Weird. There's one over here. First things first, we should check out that boat. Dang, seagulls. Get away from my hut. Sam. We could take here, huh? There's rope, ladder. Probably have to be in the context of needing it. Oh god, dang! Seagulls, calm down. A seagull jump scare. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is. This is bad. Oh, hey. I see. Ah, I thought someone was behind me. There. I don't know if it's a specific order or just have four of them, but... Okay, let's go do our, do our job at the lighthouse. Maybe the the black texture is oil. Kind of like the oil for a lamp. I mean, it doesn't really look like that, but you know, the cliche oil, the crude. Uh What is this? Interesting. I guess this is for cleaning everything. He said, wipe it out. Oh my god. I said, what you're, this is what you're gonna do. You can make this thing dirty every night. Oh, 
Yep, that's exactly what you're gonna do. Hmm. Glass cleaning simulator. One more. There, all clean. Took me all day. Look, it's already dark. So we'll light it up, and then we just need to crank the gears. Get this thing spinning. Okay, that's... It's too much. I Even I can't clean all that. You really want to make things dirty, huh? To the point where you can't see out windows, no less. Did you go under the lighthouse? No, we're fine. Let's leave. I'm worried something's gonna appear in the distance, just staring at me. I'm like, I'll never know. What if someone's staring back at me up in the lighthouse right now? You never know. Got some rope. I'm assuming we gotta fix the, uh, thing. Alright. Just go up there, tie new rope to it. And we'll be fine. But now we need something to weigh it down. So we gotta go find ourselves a sack. There. Got ourselves a sack. That's a little detail, we actually run slower with this. There. <laughs> it's menial labor. All right. I think he needs one more. Hey, hey, what? Hey, hey, hey. Run me! Run me! Run me! Almost there! We're almost there! Come on! Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in! Oh boy! Maybe we should arm ourselves or something. You think it's safe? Maybe it's just our imagination.
Things are getting mighty weird. Mighty weird. I just want to get this job over with for the night. That's gotta be it, right? No more trips. No more weird spider legs chasing me. Oh, thank God. There we go. Now we clean up. The floors, apparently. So we can't go to sleep with all this, uh... Dark tomato juice in the floor. We'll stay in that nice wood. Whatever chores do I have left? Do you want me to go and clean the walls of the lighthouse too? Hmm. Okay, now it's done. Hey. We're done, right? We, we go home? No, it's all locked. Oh! Uh... Giant... Moths? That's... That's both implausible and... A little bit much. Boy, sure hope anyone watching it doesn't have a moth phobia. Fine, the clearing out. We're cool. Hey, it went out. Now what? Still locked in. Moon is nice, though. Huh? Uh, what is that noise? Is something sloshing its way up here? There's the music box. Can I... I think we survived. Yeah, okay, we're fine. It was just a dream. And the mess is back. And we got rain today. This is gonna be a different ending. <laughs> you don't clean up all this.
Well, it's really coming down. Yeah. Wish we had an umbrella. Huh. Dirt pile. But before we do our work, let's see if we can dig these dirt piles up. There's ammo crossing. Every morning you gotta dig up some fossils. A dead seagull. Nice. Things are looking up for us. Useless? Hmm. I wonder if the correct dirt pile will be, be where all those um, trees were back on the other side of the island. There's another dirt pile. Useless. Hey. Hey, what? What? Whoa, no, no, not again, not again! <laughs> we, we start facing the wrong way. We're still running the wrong way. Oh god. At least we're gaining ground this time. I just wanted to dig up pots of dirt. Safety. Seriously, what is that? Is that our imagination and paranoia, or is it like an actual thing that's killing us? mystery to us all. Maybe the other lightkeeper, they didn't die or anything. Maybe they're they're the ones that's they're living under the um, lighthouse. Hey my stuff. She stole. I think it's raining even harder now. We're also still missing a coin. Or a talisman, depending on how you want to frame it. And I'm under some assumption we might be getting one per day. Maybe this game is four days. But I could be wrong. We'll go and look around. Up in there. There might be another dirt pile somewhere that I didn't see. Maybe on the beach. Maybe here. What about here? Yeah, there's more seagulls. I'm hearing like spooky music when I got near the lighthouse. here. More seagulls. Two of them in that one. Alright, it's gotta be here. No, still no talisman. Here it is, talisman. Looks like a cocoon.
Okay, one more. Gonna go to work. I think I hear music playing. Get some oil. Trying to debate if we'll have to clean the glass today. Yeah, we're gonna stop that. That's a little... Don't need no spooky music playing in the background. Okay, seems like a normal day for the most part, so we're just gonna light it and we'll get out of here. Great. Now we'll just go home peacefully. going on. I guess we're all good. Oh, it stopped. What? Now it's got to be working, right? Yeah, we're all good. Was all this black goo everywhere before? Maybe I should take some extra oil. Well, I guess we have to, like, hold out the night. Because you maintain the lighthouse, see? Don't tell me the gear stopped again. I don't see it down here. No, it's fine. Ow. Ow, oil. There. Okay. You satisfied? went out again. I just put oil in it. What is up with you? It's not even spinning anymore. Okay. 
You got it spinning. Go and get more oil down. Oh no, my candle went out. Look. It literally burned out. Hey, my oil! No oh, crap. Oh no, we're down here. No light. Um, thanks for the oil. Thanks for keeping it safe. I'll be going. Feeling, uh, feeling kind of damp in here. Did I see something? No, just seeing things. There. Mbasa. That was a quick jump. Ugh. I'm actually waking up for once in my own bed. And there's someone on the roof. Food. Damn you, Spider Man. Well, let's get it on clean. Maybe we should clean that bird corpse. But you know what? Whatever. Okay, one more talisman, we can open this, I'm assuming. So we have none of our tools. We don't have our light, we don't have our little gas can. All we have is the key to the lighthouse. And a weird, scary noise. We do need to find one more talisman. If we can repair the... Yeah, we can. Great. <laughs> I should probably look around too though, just in case that the talisman's uh somewhere obvious and I'm gonna miss it. Um the island flooded. Unusually so. What about the boat and the dock, then? It's all gone, too. It's like a weird whale. Imagine by the next day encroaches even higher, to the point where like only the lighthouse in her house is like dry. Water just slowly encroaches. Your noises get louder and louder. And the water just gets closer and closer. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to run. You do not risk swimming over the abyss. Lest you be subservient to what lies below. Oh, 
So maybe if we fix our roof, that's where the next talisman will be. And then if we want to not get the last talisman, we just beeline for the uh, lighthouse. Calm down, calm down. Now where do I, uh... Look you, buddy. Did I put you on the inside? No, right here. Got any of them, uh, any of them talismans for me? So we'll start them. And then we'll get the hammer out and we'll finish them off. I feel like this thing's upset, like, why are you ignoring me? Well, I got some chores to do, man. <laughs> It's late already. But our roof is all nice and fixed. Great. Still no talisman though. Could be in the lighthouse. Huh. Now that it's like a little bit less fog, I can get a little clearer look. And... Yeah. There's also invisible barriers here now. Which is interesting. Is that creepy music again? There's my stuff! Great! That is locked again. Oh, great. This is exactly what happened to the... in the opening stage. I probably missed the last talisman. I think I backed up my save. Hopefully. balcony real quick. All clear. Oh! Mothman? It's all meat. It's all meat. It's much worse than Mothman. That's what happened to the previous lighthouse keeper. So it's right. He he escaped down there. He didn't. Moths are attracted to light.
Previous keeper disappeared. Hey, this is new. Mothman, 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 Mothman. Hear me. Keep going, keep going. Make a right. I think it's dead end. Things are getting real weird up in here. Do we just wander around till we die? No, this is new. Where is it? It's here. Now I know why there's a sprint mechanic. Oh no 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 no! Where where are we? What... what has this game become? Weird. They don't find the last talisman down here. <laughs> Like, it could have just ended just with us going in the basement. It could have just ended right there. But no, there's more. I appreciate that. Seems like there's a whole civilization under here. Almost like we fell to the center of the earth. This goes on. You almost see the stars up there. It keeps going. Wow. This basically became Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> of moths. Hello? Oh, you remember when those talismans had a cocoon shape? Look. Lighthouse. It all makes sense now. We probably specifically came to the place knowing about this. We already had one of the talismans on us, remember? Okay, that's one. Not sure if lighting fires is bad. Because, you know, it tracks moths. I just heard something. 
may have company. Find some more talismans, it'd be nice. It feels to me we're just going deeper. Who's number one? The eye. Never one. The moth itself. That was the one we were missing. Just need one more over here. Here, my friend. Get that lit up. So I don't have to come back here. Any more of them, uh, more of them talismans for me? And there's the cocoon. So it's probably going in a certain order, if anything, right? It looks like life stages. Or it may not matter. Hey. There. Oh no, we've unleashed the moths! Whose idea was this? We're going back with it. Taking back to civilization. Or maybe to a museum. Well, at least we survived. Supposedly. Um, but no, but we're here. Are we there or are we here? Is this all a dream? I mean, how would we have gotten that chest out anyways? Oh boy, it's a lot of rowing. This game very much likes to take its, like, actions literal. We're almost there. This part really weirds me out. Is this the inside of a cocoon? 
I'm afraid- I'm just scared it's like one of those, like, bad endings. Where we're, like, trapped in a cocoon or something. We're just imagining we're escaping. Come on, we're almost there. We got the treasure. Escape from the hidden temple. Almost there, come on. Um, hi. Now we're going to the island. No, that's the player character. It's a different perspectives. I think. It's doing something very artsy. Leave his keeper disappeared. Were we the previous keeper? Not, not, the, not we, the player. Like that's the previous, you know, but the current one we're playing. Oh God! Oh God! Where am I? Oh, we're seeing it from... This is really interesting. So we are playing the previous Keeper. We're playing it from the perspective. And now we're going to screw with ourselves in the main game. And leave random talismans everywhere. Wow. That's, that's actually really cool. That's really... It's a really artsy move. <coughs> You'll be fine, come on. Maybe the previous beekeeper became a moth, too. They planted, like, larva in them. Go harass ourselves. <coughs> hey, are you sleeping in there? Not yet. You will be soon enough. There's a talisman there. I can see the three talismans I put in. We were missing one. Black goo. Oh god, we're a worm. This is so unique. Oh my god. This is crazy. So we did become the, uh... It's like, you know, the Lovecraftian thing of where you become the, uh... Well, the previous Keeper became this anyway.
This is how the slime was left behind. You can barely like it circled down. Now the question is, what do I do here? Did we cut it? Job well done. I never I joked like, oh, it's damn you, Spider-Man. But the scary thing to me is how accurate that was. So now what we go back down? Hide under the uh the room. Eat them. It kind of feels like we're playing natural selection. Okay. Do we go down? And where do we hide when we go down here? I guess we just hang out in the ceiling. That no good manly badass hero. I give him a good scare. Does he even notice me behind him? Damn, manly badass hero, better running than I was when I played him. See that beam of light? That is really scary. That means the entrance was right there this entire time, this weird cocoon. The whole island itself is almost like alive. Yeah, I was right. It's got literally a beating heart. Must serve the ones from the old. This is almost like Alien vs. Predator, the old good ones. Now you're like playing like the alien, like a jump perspective. That's pretty, like I said, this is actually pretty innovative. I did, cause the first part's standard, no, but no, it's a little spooky. But then this whole thing kind of, look, there's like a lighthouse under the ground. We're, we're mirroring each other. One keeps the lighthouse under the ground, one keeps the lighthouse above the ground. Oh, that's where the last talisman was that I missed. I 
I had to go to the lighthouse first, I think. I stopped listening to music because that's what I remembered. It's like, oh damn! As soon as I was distracted with the music! And then here's like the old hole in the ground chase. Where'd you go, me? Where'd you go? This is frustrating. Now I know how the monsters feel when I run around and I start commentating. That damn manly badass hero. So annoying. It's so clever. So when we did it, we actually dropped down. And this one... It stabbed him? just collapsed. Ritual has been completed. No one lives under the lighthouse. Well, no one lives under there anyway. So rather than patching up our roof, let's go up and 
get what I believe is the last talisman. There it is, okay. So will we get a better outcome by putting in all the talismans? Shotgun! Boomstick time. Hey, buddy. No, he got me. <laughs> and that's the power of gun. So I don't get that part. Did we leave, like, did they automatically start bringing somebody new and then they just collapsed because we shot the thing? <laughs> so the shotgun ending's a little more boring. Ironically, it's, it's the more secretive one. But it's a little more boring because it just ends. We don't see all the cool stuff for the actual background story. So that's it for No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. That is, I believe all endings, the one of the shotgun is the, actually the true ending, as I think stated by the developers. And then that one is called In the Achievements, because these achievements actually kind of give you an idea of the story a little bit too, because they're all tarot cards. That one is Judgment, and that one says you've broken the chains, and I'll, I'll go into that in a second. And the other ending, which I believe is when you chase him down into the basement. That is the devil. And that one says, once fallen, you would not allow another to fall. And then the other ending, when we went back up into the light and just chased him down there, that was the hangman. You fulfilled your purpose. So the true ending, although the most kind of boring ending and ending you're probably not supposed to go get first, is, you know, you just, you, you shoot the thing, you break the cycle. It, there's like a cycle here going. It's kind of like the cycle of like a bug where, you know, like caterpillar, uh, cocoon, etc. And then the kind of Lovecraftian god or whatever, the, the insect god that's down there under the lighthouse. I think it's in under like a lot of different places, but it's under the lighthouse right now. 
That one wants you to chase him down there, as we see in the one original ending, where we're just kind of chased. And it kind of pulls back. It's a little more vague. Because I'll link into either two endings. It wants you to chase us down there, so we eventually run, fall into a hole, and then, um, I'm assuming become another moth, start the whole cycle, become another keeper. For some reason, it likes lighthouse keepers. That's why you're supposed to just, like, chase him down, but don't actually chase him all the way. And then the other one where you actually chase him through the tunnels, and you go and stab ourself. You're not supposed to kill it. You're supposed to just chase him around. So that's why I said you technically ended the cycle again. That's why in that ending, the lighthouse also crumbles, just like the shotgun ending. But in the one ending, the hangman, it does not crumble. It stays static. And I got two theories on how the timeline works based on those extra scenes we get in the, uh, the bad ending rounds. So... It's either the lighthouse keeper found the chest and then brought the chest to the place. Um, but some things don't quite work correctly if that's the case. So I'm more aligned with perhaps that the player we play as that drags the chest out and does the little lighting of the bonfires or everything. That's a completely different person we have not encountered. Um, it, it could even be the person who's been bringing people to the island, I believe. I think that, that's quite a bit of a possibility, because the, the, the jump cut there is you're rowing the chest away, and then you're rowing a person to it, which is a lighthouse keeper. I think that jump cut might be implying that the person who brings people to the island could have been the one who found the original chest. I think it's debatable if the chest was found there or if it was a separate island, but either way, there was a chest found. Because it's a, a little curious that the first lighthouse keeper we played had a, one of the uh, medallions, or talismans. So, I think that's part of the whole thing of kind of luring them in. So, he brings people to the lighthouse. They go through the motions, they get chased around by a mothman. Inevitably, they eventually get chased down into the basement to fall down the hole. To be cocooned up and become another mothman. I think that's the cycle there. I believe the last keeper, the, the Mothman that chases us throughout the game, almost wants you to find the shotgun, and they can't fully rebel against their lord, per se. So they, um, they've they scattered some of the medallions. They had a shotgun kind of hidden away in that chest, and they've scattered some medallions around the place and everything, hoping that you uh, unlock it. Because they, they're all in very specific spots that, almost like I said, like it's intentionally hiding them. Because, you know, it's like a body horror thing. It wants you to put it out of its misery. So, that's the story. Um, really solid PS1 throwback. This is part of that whole line of PS1 throwback games. This was more of a commercial, professional release. In comparison to the other ones, which are like indie game jam games. Uh, and I'll say that this is actually one of the better of the lot. Of course, like I said, those other ones are game jam games. They're always going to be a little short. But the initial parts... There, there, there are some, definitely some slow parts, very slow burns here and there, but it is a pretty effective, um, somewhat Lovecraftian storyline. It's not purely Lovecraftian, just some other writers, uh, even John Carpenter, I think, did some stories like this. Although I imagine he was inspired by Lovecraft. We, we won't go into, like, the whole ins inspiration chain, but anyway. But you could have ended it just there at the part where it chases you down the lighthouse and bam. It's like, oh, the cycle repeats. You already got the implication right there. But they had that whole other section, that whole other optional section that kind of happened. That kind of showed a different perspective, kind of put the story together. And that's fairly unique for a horror game like this. And I think that's kind of like the glue that really pulled together to make a little more of a unique product. Uh, kind of elevated the product a bit and gave a, uh, another perspective on the game of like, oh, look what's... Look what's been going on under me this entire time, like under the island and everything. Like this was just under our nose the entire time, you know, it's all, it's all kind of creepy. So I liked this game, the uh, No One in the Lighthouse. It's kind of, how to describe it, it would be basically, it's, despite its simple graphics, um, on purpose obviously, but simple nonetheless, it is essentially a better amnesia <laughs> than any of the amnesia sequels were, that's how I would describe it. I got, a, I got a fairly, very similar, small burst feeling. 
So, thank you all for watching me play Someone Does Live Under the Lighthouse. Uh, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.